I make a very quick calculation to pull my pants up. No wipe, no button. Seatbelt sign is illuminated. Open the door and I hit the floor. Feet in the bathroom, body in the aisle. I'm Jess Solomon and this is Sketchy. I had an overnight flight between Montreal and Holland. I really needed to sleep on this flight. So a friend helped me out, gave me an Ativan. I do the Ativan. I've never done Ativan before. I don't know if you like do Ativan, like, hey man, let's do some Ativan this weekend, you know? I've done I've done drugs before, all right, okay. Um, but not in the middle seat of economy on a Dutch airline. The Dutch Okay, I'm gonna say, not a warm or friendly people. I'm sorry if anyone is Dutch. There are a lot of groups you can't make fun of anymore, but I feel safe about this one. I've done the research. Rich country, strong GDP, white colonial power, and I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I don't think they've adequately addressed or acknowledged their role in the Holocaust, okay? Someone gave Anne Frank away. The Ativan was coming on in a way that reminded me of some ecstasy I'd bought in the late 90s from a guy with a wallet chain. Don't buy drugs from a guy with a wallet chain. If he can't keep track of his wallet, what is he doing? So I throw up in my puke bag, which is a nightmare for me to puke in front of people. All I want to do when I feel sick is slink away like a cat that knows it's dying and crawls under the porch for privacy. I had a few seconds of relief after puking until I realized I had to run to the bathroom. Seatbelt sign is illuminated. I throw off the belt and make a run for the bathroom. The flight attendants are about to tell me to sit down, but then they see my face and make a decision for the collective good of the plane to let me go. That's socialism. I get to the bowl just in time. A second or two passes while I wonder, am I peeing out of my ass? Is this pee, is this poo? Nobody can know, who knows, who knows? My field of vision starts to fill with black spots, which I know means I'm about to faint. I make a very quick calculation to pull my pants up, no wipe, no button, because if I faint in that bathroom, they're gonna break down the door and pull me out with my naked diarrhea ass exposed. So I get my pants up, open the door and I hit the floor. Feet in the bathroom, body in the aisle. When I wake up, there's a doctor. I told her I felt better. Uh, I mean, my pants were up, the worst was over. I felt embarrassed, but relieved, and I slunk back into my seat, and I finally fell asleep. Until midway over the Atlantic, when the lava lamp that is my body was suddenly plugged back in, and I immediately puked into my neighbor's puke bag. I filled it up before I had to run to the bathroom. How? How was this happening again? I pull my pants down just in time and the pressure of what was coming out, I mean, I could have restained an old deck. And then my field of vision starts filling up with black and I have seconds to pull my pants back up to avoid this new worst nightmare of getting pulled out of an airplane bathroom with a naked diarrhea ass for the second time. I get them up, no wipe, no zip, open the door and hit the ground in the exact same place. Feet in the bathroom, body, in the aisle. Some people have seen this twice. They've just been sitting in their seat and seen a woman go into the bathroom and not even seven seconds later, pass out in the exact same place. At this point, I was like, they're gonna put me in business class. I'm clearly very sick and need to lie down flat. But not the Dutch. This is why they are such a strong, tall, athletic people. They've killed off the weak ones like me. People think everyone in Holland is gonna be so cool because they have legal weed and prostitution. It's propaganda. I spent the rest of the flight shivering on the floor under the last row of seats, but at least I had privacy. Like the cat under the porch who dies with dignity. 